I'm Chris. This is Heaven. This is Sweets and Treats. And Heaven and I have decided to do something a little bit different. We're adding restaurants in. So you know what that means, Heaven. If we added restaurants in at Liberty Square, what do we got to do when we get done with Tomorrowland? Go back around with restaurants for all the places? That we missed. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> so we're going to have to go back to Adventureland and Frontierland. And Main Street. Oh, that's I didn't even think. We did do Main Street. I forgot all about it. You are correct. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Main Street's got some good restaurants, too. So I've never ate at the Plaza, which I always would like to eat at the Plaza. So well, currently, um, that's the only place right now that serves the stuff for Columbia Harbor House. Right. Don't oh, ask really? Me how many times a day that I have to say that? Um, <laughs> well, let me share this out. And plus, I got to pull it us up. So in case anybody comes in. But why we're doing that, Heaven did. Was it today? You did some shopping? It was yeah. today. All right. So Heaven is going to show you what she got today. So a little backstory first. I have a coworker who is in love with the Wishables, and I think that they're very nice and squishy. I also think that there was a missed opportunity to call them Squishables, like S Q U W I S H A B L E S, because they are very squishable, and I wish that I had all of them. <laughs> squishables. Um, but so my coworker is my coworker. She she is just very. Very Disney merchandise. This girl, I think I mentioned before, she knows she gets up at like 3 a.m. every Monday and looks at the things that have dropped new on Shop Disney. Um, the first month or the first Wednesday of the month is Wishable Wednesdays. And um, yesterday before, while I was on break, I told one of my other coworkers, I was like, oh, look at these. Look what the new Wishable Wednesday set is tomorrow. I'm so excited. I think I might need these. And my coworker said, oh, yeah, well, we were going to invite you to go with us. And I said, okay. And I said, we're going to meet at Disney Springs at 9 a.m. So we met at Disney Springs. Um, my coworker, who loves them, she, she was there 15 minutes early. The rest of us showed up anywhere from 10 to 50 minutes late. <laughs> um, but we were still the first four in the door to World of Disney. And we grabbed all of our wishable packages. This is what they looked like this time. And we grabbed them. And uh -oh, dab there we go. oh, I yeah. said, where'd you go, man? So we grabbed we grabbed a bunch of them. We all grabbed a lot. And we put them in the bags. And since there is one little plush per bag, we started feeling them around to figure out what they were. And once we thought we knew what they were, we had someone go up and buy buy all of them to make sure we were right. And we got too confused, but once we figured it out, we got them. And I only had to buy them once. Uh, I did buy to like, get everything I wanted. I did buy two more for my roommate who loves them. Hi, Jeffrey. Hey, Jeffrey. So, so Heaven is talking about she went shopping today and uh, she got wishables at the World of Disney. The Small World wishables. They small came world, out today. Yes. Awesome. Um, so... With the wishables, the way they work is that you there are five or six that come in the mystery bags. I say five or six because there could be a variant. So for this pack, the hippo was the variant. You could get the pink one or the green one. Hey, Mar. They also have, um, yeah, it's <laughs> it's fun, Mar. Like I actually enjoy doing that. I got really good at it today. Um, so they come with the five or six mystery ones, but then they come with one that they sell from each set just by itself. And today it was the Gonzo, Disney trash can. Um, so this is the first one I got. Oh, uh, the, the kangaroo. Um, from, and her Joey from the you, island scene. So if you just come in, heaven bought wishables today that are, uh, small world attraction wishables. So. And they just came out today. Yes. Um, so this is the kangaroo and then the next, so like I said, we felt around to get them all. Um, Mar, I'm going to save my favorite ones for last. Mar, we're watching it tonight. It's a watch party. <laughs> um, so then see penguins. Yeah. Um, 
So it's the penguins. They're the penguins are from Central America, and they spin in circles. And I think I think they're cute. This one's not as squishy as the rest, but still cute. And then there's this pink hippo. The pinko, oh, yeah. the the pinko, the hippo is very squishy. Um, I don't know where the pink hippo's from. There, is there Africa? is a hippo, but it's not pink. Oh, really? Okay. Hm. I don't Daddy's know. not pink. Hm. Um, but this is the pink hippo. I like it a lot. I was really worried. I was like, I'm going to get two hippos because you can't tell the collar by feeling them. <laughs> like, it's not like you can feel collar. Right. Um, so I knew I had two packages with hippos and I was like, man, I'm going to get two pink ones. All I want is one that actually looks like ours. Um, but then I opened the next one and it was a green one. <laughs> <laughs> I was so happy because it was the first one we've seen. I opened it and I was like, oh, it's green. Um, and I like that they got the that she wings. It's cute. Um Yes, Mar. Uh what it is, I'm gonna I'll tell you what, I'm gonna send you an invite to the watch party, okay? Okay, go ahead, Heaven. Okay, um, so this one, this is the one that I think just look, looks just like the one. In is the Florida, other one winking? Or just yeah, that no, one? just this one. That's why this one looks just like the one here at Small World, because oh. her eye wings. So this is them together. Aren't they the cutest? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then. The mystery monorail. I want to buy the mystery monorails. Yeah, um, there's three different colors, apparently. I want the teacups. Right. So this is the ca the cactus that plays the guitar. He's in Central America too. I think he's super cute. His little hair goes up and it goes down. <laughs> and he's very squishy as well. And then my favorite, and I just feel like you really, if you just, so my friend said that during quarantine, she would squeeze her squishable, her wishables. Um, she would just squeeze them once a day to feel good. Hello, Gonzo. Um, and she said she would just, she would just squish them at each day to feel better because she lived by herself and it was quarantine, you know, and that's sad. So she would just squish them and it kind of brought like hope. Um, and I like that. And I think that this one is just squishy enough to like, it just makes you really feel good. And it's the clock. Awesome. And I think it's super cool because on this side, he's really <laughs> happy. <laughs> um, so that's all of the wishables. That's awesome. Um, now, did this set have one? Because I noticed some of the sets had one where you had to like buy one that was hanging up. This yes, has... that's that's what I was talking about. That was uh, the kangaroo. The kangaroo was the one you had. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, like I said, so um, from what I understand, some of the sets have Mar. I don't know. Um. That's what I was wondering if maybe the pink hippo was from Small World in Disneyland, but I don't. I've never been. I have no idea. Um, but so what I was saying is what I've learned today with being with my friend Ashley um, is that some of the sets, most of the sets have one plush that's going to come in it that is a variant plush, which means it's going to come in like a different color. So this time the variant was the hippo. So they sold four mystery plushes, but technically there are five because there is a pink hippo and a green hippo. Um, the last month was Alice in Wonderland. And they had Alice, the Cheshire Cat. I'm going to do it this way. Alice, the Cheshire Cat, the Mad Hatter, and a teacup. Except the teacup had six different colors. Um, those were the mystery ones. I don't <laughs> know. I think the the rabbit. Or no, the mouse. The mouse that comes out of the top of the, the teacup in the middle of the teacups. Um, yeah, they, they really are. <laughs> I spent more money than I should have <laughs> I, I went into this and said, I only need the cactus, a blue hip or a green hippo and the clock. And then I said, oh, I work there. I just want them all. <laughs> and then I bought two for my roommate. Too. <laughs> um, 
So, so is the set that Gonzo talk, talking about, is that the one that I was looking at while we were that there? That is the transportation okay. set. My roommate got, or my roommate, my coworker that knows it well, she found two monorails today. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. And she showed me how to find them. So I know how they feel in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I, it's exciting. Like, I, I can't wait. I think I'm going to go to Cast Connections tomorrow and look at the, the Beauty and the Beast one <laughs> since I worked at Bell. I, I would like Bell. <laughs> so she taught you how to feel for stuff. Well, I knew how to feel for some of them, remember? Right. But yeah. then today, obviously, these are new. No one knew what these felt like. So the four of us sat down and felt around, and we were like, all right, what do you think this is? And we passed it around and was like, well, what do you think this is? And we all said what we thought it was. And then we had one person go and buy a set that we thought was a full set, and we were right. The only We got – so – we got the cactus and the hippo confused. Yeah, it is. It really is. <laughs> but the best part is my one coworker that's in love with them. If you get one that you don't want, she'll trade you and she'll just keep it to trade other people for other ones. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a win-win. I can't lose. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, now I know that if I ever want to get one, I can just be like, hey, Ashley, you want to trade me? <laughs> <laughs> um, so, after that, it was a really good morning. That was a lot of fun. And I told them that I would really love to go with them the next couple, like, every month when they do this. I might not buy something every month because um, I would say much like my dad, but he has clearly fallen into peer pressure if you just look behind him. Um for what? I don't necessarily like to <laughs> collect things because I just feel like they gather and take space and I don't know what to do with them. Um, so I don't know that I will buy every set of wishables every month, but um, I, I think I will go if they continue to invite me. I will go to help them get what they need because I had a great time. This was really fun to feel around in the bag and play the guessing game. But after hey, that, Megan. we went and we got lunch. Hello. Um, we went and got lunch and then after on, on our way to lunch, we stopped and we got a wait time for Gideon's Bakehouse. Awesome. And they told us that it was going to be a 75 minute wait. And we were like, okay, no problem. 75 minutes. We can go and get lunch and come back. We did not even, it was 30 minutes later when we met back up with everyone we were with. And we had not even gotten to order our pizza yet before they sent us a text message saying that our our wait was ready. We could go get in line. Um, and while we were eating, we got another text message that said, we're ready for you again because they were really ready for us. So then we went after we ate and we got in line and we probably waited about 20 minutes in line. And we got in there and... It's a, it's small. Um, it's a like about the. It's a little bit bigger than my bedroom, <laughs> um, but it's super cool. There's like a lot of like um, more kind of like a gothic style art, um, or at least like that's what I thought it was, and my friends said it was. Um, they had a couple different cookies, and since I'd never been there, I decided to just go with like the the traditional chocolate chip. Um, it's like a pound cookie. Like it is <laughs> big. <laughs> um, I'm not really like a couple weeks ago, I probably could have ate this whole cookie. Um, but I've not been really eating a lot of sweets lately. And so I took a couple bites of that and I was like, Oh, this, hey, is, this is rich. This is like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I saved half of it. It is downstairs for my lunch tomorrow. Um, and, but it was super cool. Like, um, they, they have cake, cake slices. They have, the, uh, they change their menu up every month. They have a different cookie each month. This month, their flavor, their like month, monthly cookie is, hold on. I can read it to you. It sounds scary. <laughs> <laughs> um, my one roommate thinks it sounds awesome, but. If you're just coming um, in, heaven's talking about getting cookies at Gideon's. So, so their their special edition hey, Sean. Fe- their special edition cu- cookie for February is called Eternal Flame, 
a dark chocolate cookie laced with ancho, cayenne, and cinnamon and topped with yeah. chocolate-covered cherries. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, Kiana thought the internal flame sounded better. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it was a good time for my first experience. I told Katie and Kiana we would have to go back together sometime because I think they should try it. Um, my first experience going for a basically rope drop of world of Disney for wishables was awesome too. I just, I had a really good time. This was awesome. Like yeah. it's so fun. And I mean, like look how squishy they are. <laughs> do you want to, you want to pick them up and show all of them together? Can you do it, that? I can try. <laughs> <laughs> So Heaven also went shopping today for the new Wishables that came out. Wearing my Pluto socks tonight. Wow. Pluto. My other daughter would love that. She loves Pluto. <laughs> Is it going to be too laughing? much? <laughs> <laughs> can you see them all yeah i can see them all yeah this is yeah that's them that's all of them awesome. oh there's the cactus yeah um look at what the kangaroo does this is so cute um oh there went the clock face so little kangaroo and the joey and pop <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I am not a juggler. You are <laughs> <laughs> <This> is... <laughs> All right. So let's get on down to Liberty Square. All right. Which, you know, I I always thought oh, this. Real quick. Also, if you don't know, I was going to talk about this. I thought I was going to talk about it last week, but I guess I forgot. Maybe I mentioned it. I got disappointed today, so don't miss your chance this time. There used to be a watermelon Dole Whip at Disney Springs, but apparently that's no longer in season and it was only temporary. So I never even got to try it. Super angry about that. <laughs> but currently the new seasonal one is a chocolate covered or chocolate strawberry Dole Whip. Um, I did not try it because I chose to go to Gideon's, <laughs> but don't miss your chance because <laughs> yes, it does. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have legs like it's just a little <laughs> but the lady in um we got them at world of disney but then we also walked over to once upon a toy and the lady in there told us oh look how cute you could just put a little ring right there and gift it to someone and we were like are you telling someone that propose like this. <laughs> but maybe maybe that's what you should do <laughs> all right so so liberty square uh of course i pull up my disney experience to start looking for the different places and heaven and i decided like we said earlier that we're gonna start adding we're adding restaurants in now because it's kind of hard to find just the snacks on their own so I think we're going to add the restaurants in, which, like I said earlier, to heaven, which means there's two places or three places we have to go three back. Places. Yes. So after we get all the way back to Tomorrowland, then we'll go to Main Street and we'll just cover the restaurants in, on Main Street, the restaurants in Adventureland and the restaurants in Frontierland, which we did do Pecos Bills. We talked about it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the first place I want to talk about, and you and I have ate there, we shared a dinner with Gonzo and Kelly, our family did, and I probably should share this out. <laughs> Give me one second. All right. Which is Liberty Tree Tavern. And at the Liberty Tree Tavern... They have the declaration salad. Oh my gosh, that honey vinaigrette is to die for. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, 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 I like the salad there, but I think I like the salad better over at the Diamond Horseshoe. I mean, theirs was the, like the same thing, just the Chipotle Ranch. Right. But, oh my God, the honey, the honey vinaigrette. <laughs> so they, ha they have the, the Patriot Platter, which is, I think what it was is because we ordered it, it came out and wasn't it like, so it was like a, what do you call it? A uh, family style, right? Uh, that's how they do it all the time. Yeah. So it comes with, uh, of course, the turkey. Is mm -hmm. it the brisket? Yes, I think Stuffing. so. Stuffing. Was there something else that I'm forgetting? I believe so, but I'm not really sure. Yeah. All right. Uh, was there pulled pork, maybe? Maybe. Maybe there was. I, I could be wrong. And then... The ooey gooey oh. toffee cake. Oh my God. Which was so really good. good. But I did see that they had this and this looks awesome. What is that? Johnny's apple seed warm apple cake. Okay. So I thought that looked really good as well. Oh. So, but yeah, that's, that's the Liberty Tree Tavern. We ate there. I liked it. I don't know. Heaven, did you like it? I've eaten there before. I love it. I think it's very nice. Uh, right. I love that it's all like, uh, like as much as you like, eat as much as you want. Like they bring it out to you oh, yeah. and they'll bring you whatever side you like need more of. I know whenever like we went with my roommates, we were like, oh, we want more green beans and more macaroni, but nothing right. else. Like, and, or I think we actually said more, more green beans and more mashed potatoes, but nothing uh, else. Oh, there's some macaroni and cheese. Oh, my mouth is watering a little. Herb <laughs> stuffing. Of course, the ooey gooey toffee cake again. Yeah. Oh, they're so they, oh. yeah, they bring out the mashed potatoes and the green beans. Again, just chef's kiss. Delicious. And it then, is all so good. And they also bring you out a gravy boat. So. Um, I also say it's also good uh, for the meat and stuff. I only eat the turkey, but yeah. it's also it is delicious turkey. Yeah. I mean, ask my dad. He only got a whole plate for himself. <laughs> I did not eat that whole plate. <laughs> <laughs> but they brought a whole plate out just for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I might have ate like three slices off of it, but it, it's because I didn't see the gravy right away. And I'm like, I could have had gravy on this. Uh, it's if you've never been to Liberty Tree Tavern, you definitely need to go. Like, oh, yes, yeah, I liked it. All right, so for our next one, I think it's just a little small marketplace, so there's no pictures, but I'll, we can read to you what they have. They have the turkey leg there served after oh, 11 o'clock. Oh, you're talking about Liberty Square Marketplace, yes, the Liberty Square Marketplace, yes, and they have an all beef grilled hot dog, which is served after 11. I'm wondering, do they always have the all-beef grill grilled hot dog, or is that something they may have added because of Casey's being shut down? I don't know. Okay. I know somewhere it took on the corn dogs, but I don't remember where that was. Was that... Okay, okay. We're, we'll like be coming Apollo? up to that. We'll come up to that. Okay. I, right. I wondered. Well, no, somewhere it took on the corn dog nuggets. Oh, the corn dog. The I can't remember. corn dog... I think that was Westward Ho. Was it Westward Ho? But okay. I'm well, no, because I thought we said Westward Ho closed to be a relaxation station. It did. Yes, you are correct. I don't know. Again, I just was it Tortuga? It. Tortuga Tavern? Mm, I don't think so. Because remember, I looked up their menu last week. Okay. So uh, the snacks Again, they have. I just work there. <laughs> the snacks they have is Mickey Pretzels, Cuties Mandarins. Trail mix, assorted chips, chocolate chip cookies, whole fruits, and mini Baby Bell snack cheese. Is there anything else below? Oh, they have beverages, of course. They have your bottle of every smart water, frozen slushy, raspberry lemon, or blueberry with a souvenir Mickey straw. And they have Powerade, apple juice, and all that kind of stuff. They There was no pictures of what they had, so... So next, I mean, most of it's pretty like simple stuff that you already know what it looks like. So next is Sleepy Hollow. Love this place too. And they have a sweet and spicy chicken waffle sandwich. Heard it's good. Never yeah. tried it. 
the funnel cake that looks awesome i would like to try that the next time in there of course i want to try the Why nutella you got that no i've yeah, never the oh love yeah. the nutella and fruit. that's a di that's a different land though so <laughs> what? that's a different land what do you mean <laughs> the the nutella waffle and everything. Uh -uh. i thought it was fantasy land no it's this is it yeah i didn't see it in here the nutella waffle and fruit is it Sleepy now, Hollow? now why would you settle for this when they have this i don't know i don't know either No, I don't know why it wouldn't be in hey, here. Birdwell. But uh that the Nutella and fruit waffle is one hundred percent at Sleepy Hollow. Right. And then here is the hand dipped corn dogs, which I didn't have one. Uh Gonzo and Kelly had one, and I believe I don't I think it was on Gonzo's channel that he did he did a uh bit or a, he recorded him and him and Kelly having a hand dipped corn dog and he said it was he said it was really good so and then uh the voodoo magic i wonder if that's new i don't oh. know or do you think maybe this is old and they've got stuff from um, halloween well i don't know what just happened i can hear you but i cannot see you there we go my computer did something weird okay anyway um maybe i don't but maybe not because also it's just kind of like that right and then uh, just take three, which I don't know what that is. Maybe we should go back and look, read what these are. Yeah. Yeah. Pumpkin, oh, sp pumpkin spice. I feel like that's got to be from Halloween. <laughs> but that looks delicious. <laughs> pumpkin spice waffle Sunday is. Oh, that sounds amazing. How did I miss that? <laughs> Very upset right now. And then I think is th this was being yeah. sold around Halloween, wasn't it? The Madame yes, Leota sipper. Katie was so upset that she didn't get one. You figured you figured there would have been enough that you guys would have ended up getting one somewhere. And she of course the top yeah. of the zipper pops open. Yeah, it's amazing. It's so yeah. nice. And then the fa la 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 funnel cake, which I'm taking, I guess, is probably Christmas. Christmas. But that just looks like they just put the whipped cream on top of the strawberries is all. Put like. some sprinkles on it. Yeah. So. But still, I mean, I'm pretty sure they still have this stuff whenever ha or Christmas and Halloween comes around. Yeah. Um, so. I mean, sometimes, most of the time, they try to change up what they do. So right. these might have, like, if they were really big se sellers, then, yeah, they'll probably do them again. But if not, they'll probably get rid of it and try something different. I feel like this looks like I have a feeling this is something like an apple pie or a cherry pie or something like that is what I'm taking a guess because that's kind of like what it looks like. Uh, they look like beignets. Oh, are they? Okay. That's what but, they that's what yeah. on the side it looks like. A but little to me, bit it like almost has like a Christmas look to it. So let's but read I, what it is. Okay, let's see. Uh, where am I at? Okay. I don't know. I can't. I shut down that page. Oh, well, okay. Never mind. <laughs> I'm, I'll look it up. All right. So we're gonna so we're gonna move to merchandise in Liberty Square. Oh wait, no. Liberty so also here at Sleepy Hollow, they yeah. have the waffle full of Nutella, full of fruit, very delicious. They do have it there. It. it is at Sleepy Hollow. I don't know where you ever heard that it was in Fantasyland, but I have well, only ever eaten it at Sleepy Hollow. Oh, I thought I I guess maybe maybe for some reason I thought Sleepy Hollow was in Fantasyland. I don't know. But uh, delicious though, because I don't think I've ever got anything from Sleepy Hollow before. I we've ate there once, once or twice, right? Okay, I mean, I don't know if maybe you ate there, but I'm yeah. pretty sure we sat there at least once whenever me. Oh, yeah, ate. well, of course, I've sat out there before, so but and then so next we have Liberty Square Portrait Gallery and Magic Kingdom. Uh, um, I do have what the just take three is. Oh, you um, do. What These are some of the best beignets we've ever had, and that's really saying something. These fluffy pockets of heaven are well-prepared and covered in powdered sugar evenly and nicely on both sides. The beignets are complemented with a rich chocolate ice cream and even a tiny bit of whipped cream. Oh, wow. So the Liberty Square oh, Portrait Gallery and, and Magic... and they have six slits on them. Oh, okay. So that's the Liberty it. Square Portrait Gallery and Magic Kingdom is uh, they, they'll do a regular caricature of you but they also do the old uh old how do i say it 
Would you say old fashioned? I don't know. Where they do a black like profile of you. So I don't I don't know if it's a, I'm taking a guess it's like a paper cutout that they put. I don't I'm not for sure. I've never I've I've never really took a look at this place. I guess I just walked on by. I never really paid attention, but I'm kind of interested. I'd like to see it the next time I'm there. So and then we have the one place which is one of our favorite places to go into when we're in Liberty Square. The ye oh, old Christmas shop. Well, and like I was just telling you real quick before we move on, is that that little stand where they have the um, portraits, they also have the little bitty mini umbrellas, and you can have them personalized, and they paint things on them. Um, most of the time, you have to buy it and then go pick a time to go back and pick it up. Mark. Right. I watched Gonzo almost stab himself with the <laughs> corn dog skewer. <laughs> I, I heard, saw that. So, oh. uh, yeah, so the ye old Christmas shop, what it was is my mom hasn't been to Disney World probably. Has, how long has it been? Um, When you guys came in November of 2019. That, that is true. Uh, So I don't know when she'll get back down there, but a lot of times she, they went almost every year there for a while. And almost every, and they would go during Christmas, around Christmas, and almost every Christmas, she got every one of us some kind of a Christmas ornament yep. from the Yield Christmas shop. So, but I just like going in. They always have di new uh, ornaments, or maybe it's ornaments I never seen before when I was in there, but I think they're great. Uh, one of the things that I really found interesting the last time we was in there, we went in there during the time that Kelly and Gonzo was eating their corn dog or get waiting for it to get done. Uh, they had, uh, they were, I don't know if they were ornaments, but they were like, were they like the buildings there at Walt Disney world? Like they had like the different buildings, sort of like the Christmas style, you know, little buildings that you can get to set up like a Christmas town. But they had Are you talking about the ones that you could turn around and see the inside. Yes, yes. Yes. So those were the ornaments. They had Minnie's house, Small World. I think they had Haunted Mansion. But those are the only three that I remember that they had right now. But there were more. There were a few more. Oh, I think the firehouse, maybe. Right. Oh yeah, it was the firehouse. You are correct. Yes, yes. Yeah, they were right. super. I, those are, I think those are new ornaments. So cool. Now, this next place, Heaven and I stood out in the rain for I don't know how long. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to look at the 50, 50th anniversary of, of Haunted Mansion. Haunted. I'm pretty sure it was the one in Disneyland. It was the one it in Disneyland. It had to be because this one is just now, like, Disney World is just now hitting 50. <laughs> yeah, it, it was it was Disneyland because but they were releasing the merchandise at Walt Disney World while while we were there. I was it was when I was down there for when I went with you for our, our cat for the cast member preview to yep. Galaxy's Edge. And uh yeah, so we waited I mean, in line and it started raining. That way wrapped so it wrapped all the way, it went like back by Rapunzel's Tower yes. in Fantasyland all the way around this front part of the building here and around through that extended queue that they already have that is just very small out front. Right. And oh, we did live crazy. stream during the time we was there. So it's an old live stream. Uh, if you go back and watch it, it's probably not very good, but it's a standing in line in the rain, live streaming in the rain. So from Memento Mori. But yeah, they have everything like from uh, the Haunted Mansion. It's a super cool little shop. Yeah. And what, what I like about it is they, you know, if they, they're they saying they're the Haunted Mansion, they have Haunted Mansion related stuff. I mean, it's not like over at Hollywood Studios where it's like, oh, this is a shop for the Muppets. And you go in and only a corner is the Muppets. And then it's the same stuff you can get anywhere else. Yeah. At, yeah. At Walt Disney World. So. But. Yeah, I, I thought that was, I, you know, it was kind like of strange. I'm sure, I'm sure some of the stuff that you can get in Momentum Mori's um, 
And just the same, some of the stuff you can get in the Christmas shop. I'm sort of sure that you can get those things in other. Do you guys see that? You, you were able to see that, right? This What's cat, that? watch, he's going to try to open this door. Watch him. He's going to do it. He's watching it. Here he <laughs> he does this all the time. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and this is why we lock our doors when we go to bed at night. <laughs> and this is also why the cats get kicked out of here. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, I'm sure that some of that stuff can be found in other areas of the park. But yeah. at least you know, like, oh, I want a Christmas ornament. My best bet, Christmas shop. Right. Oh, I want something Haunted Mansion. Best bet, Haunted Mansion, or Memento Mori. <laughs> Mar. We did not train him to do that. <laughs> that cat, they are too smart for their own good. He's apparently also figured, so obviously that door opened into the bathroom. Apparently he's also figured out how to open them where he has to pull it. Um, he's not as good at it, but he's done it. He's he's figured it out. <laughs> you don't know how many nights I have woken up and realized I forgot to close my door. Last night, I decided I'd let him in here because he was crying. And that one specifically, it's Loki. Um, he When he's needy, he doesn't get needy very often. He He's kind of, he doesn't like to be touched. I mean, he'll let you hold him and stuff. Thor doesn't like to be held, but Loki will he'll tell you when he doesn't want you touching him anymore, or he'll tell you when he does want you to touch him, he'll bite you. That's how he tells you. He gives you a little warning nip. And so I let him stay in here last night and I went to bed and he slept at my feet and about four forty-five this morning, I woke up to being bit twice because I wasn't petting this cat. <laughs> <laughs> and so I started petting him and I fell asleep. And when I fell asleep with my hand on him, he turned and bit me again. And I was like, yeah, you got to go. man." <laughs> So we basically covered everything in Liberty Square and we've got a little bit of time left. Is there anything about Liberty Square that most people don't know that maybe you know about heaven? Is there? Um, the I think a lot of people know this, but I didn't know this and maybe it's news to others. The tree in the middle of Liberty Square, um, the Liberty Tree, it does have um, 13 lanterns in it to... Represent, um, represent the 13 colonies. Um, and this is kind of about Liberty Square and uh, Frontierland. Um, all of the dates on the buildings, they look like addresses. Um, they're actually years and they're all dating um, from Liberty Square towards Frontierland. They right. all start going up um, to represent our time going west. Right. right. Um, and that is also, I don't necessarily know that it was planned like this. I mean, I would hope so. Um, that is also why Frontierland is to the west of Liberty Square. Right, right. So. Uh, I think I, I think that's neat. It's also, <laughs> it's not only just west of Liberty Square, it's west of the whole park. Well, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. um, so. it, it is the west side of the park. <laughs> but, uh, so there's three attractions there, of course, at yeah. Liberty Square. There you have the Haunted Mansion, which is probably the biggest attraction there at a Liberty Square. Uh, then you have the, uh, what, what do they call that? The, the uh, Liberty Square Riverboat. The Riverboat, yes. Yes, which, what was it? It was just, wasn't the last time. It was the time before it was the first time we'd ever rode it. We I have went. never rode it. You didn't ride it with us when we went on it? No, again, that was similar <laughs> to the day... That y'all went and ate at uh, the dining theater there in Hollywood. All sci -fi. Uh, mm -hmm. Similar to that, I'm pretty sure I was working. Right, right. So we, yeah, we wrote we wrote it for the first time. Uh, what else? Uh, of course, there's the Hall of Presidents, which I know a lot of people don't like it. They get bored in it. I like history, so I like the Hall of Presidents. And I really wish, one thing I wish they would bring back is the Muppets. Yeah, I do too. I do I, enjoy that. I really did like the Muppets out there. So, and I think, I think every once in a while they'll have where they, they bring them back for like 
just for a small short period of time if something happens i don't know why hmm. but I, i'd seen them before i might be wrong i mean it was but, only recently that they like completely got rid of them right. well i say recently but everything feels recent when we were shut down for three months right Hey, Chris, the Disney baker. Thanks for coming in. But yeah, I mean, uh, Liberty Square, the funny thing was, is I was looking it up on uh, my or, uh, on my uh, Disney experience. And really, I was I was had a, I did not realize that it was really that big. I always thought of it as a very small part of the park. Well, it is, I was it is. thinking that, too. Like, think about last week. We we struggled a little bit with Frontierland. And we said, oh, man, like next week, Liberty Square is going to be kind of tough. And I feel like we had more to talk about Liberty Square than we did Frontierland. Well, which I mean, I have thought like Frontierland is kind of smaller than what you would imagine. Like, well, I mean, it, it's got the same amount of attractions as Liberty Square. Mm hmm. So, but just I don't... not as many shops. I mean, two. So, yeah, yeah. just as many. Yeah. So, but, uh, but of course they have, I don't know. I might be wrong about this, but at one time it, it was, it was true. The only attraction that was created in Walt Disney world that moved to Disneyland, which was the country bears. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. I... The country bears were created for Walt Disney world and then was put into Walt Disney. Hmm. They didn't have them come back for Christmas more. Uh, I, no, she's I, saying didn't they oh didn't they oh i don't i don't know i i, I have no idea i i don't know i just love that you know you'd just be sitting out there and uh they, here here ye here ye yes and then every time they did it it wasn't the same story it was a different story no but so. somehow i only ever saw the one where miss piggy wanted to be the queen <laughs> Every time. But yeah, I, you know, Liberty Square, is, I love it. Or she There's, was the queen or something. Yeah. I, don't I mean, you know, you can talk about the brown, the brown uh, part of the oh, ground, yeah, I forgot which where represents it's just, like the sewage, the sewage and the trash because they didn't have that back then. But yeah, it was, I, Liberty Square is a really neat area. Uh, spent lots of time standing in, Hey Jeff, thanks for coming in. That is true. Yeah, that is true. Yes, Jeff, you are correct. Uh, Walt Disney World did have Space Mountain first. I forgot all about that. But uh, but yeah, but Liberty Square to me, I mean, I I love that area. I love the way because it just gives you that feeling of that early American feeling and everything like that. Uh, the Hall of Presidents, love going in there, love listening to the history, love seeing all the presidents stand up and actually look like they're alive. Uh, we've had lots of memories, ones we can't share on here in certain areas in those places. Evan was a little too young when some of the stuff went on. But we have pictures. <laughs> I don't know. Do you remember that? No. You don't remember grandma sitting in a uh, wheelchair in front of President Clinton's picture? Nope. And your Uncle Kim coming up where he was out of camera but made it look like it was grandma's arms up like this, but it was like one certain finger. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, we got a picture of that somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh but, man but yeah uh yeah we, the thing is is i know people always they're always like ah oh, holland president is boring ah oh, carousel progress is boring i just i i just love it all i just i really do i at magic kingdom i don't think there's anything i don't like i so, just can't stay awake during the hall of presidents no matter I, how much i try i just right. I'm sure you're the same way if we go to the American Adventure, too. Over oh, yeah, 100%. So I just like watching that, seeing the, uh, the, you know, the conversation between Ben Franklin and uh, Samuel Clemens or Mark Twain. But, uh, but yeah, I, I think some of that stuff is awesome. Uh, we, having an eyes, of course, 
how many times have, is that considered part? That's part. Is that part of Liberty Square where you get to? I don't know. Or is that the start of Fantasyland when you're over there near uh, the Tangled Bathrooms? Oh, that's Fantasyland. Well, what are you doing there? Well, we were looking for uh, what's his name, Pascal. Pascal? Yeah, it's Fantasyland. Okay. I but, can tell you where they're all at. If you want, come find them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, under the sea bubble popper popper. There are 10. There is only one on the cottage, and there are nine in that area with the river. Right. But like I said, come find me. I will gladly take a moment and help you. And then, of course, you've got the uh, the pet cemetery, and it has uh, Mr. Toad. Mr. Toad with the date of when Mr. Toad's ride was taken out. So, but I don't really want to end this early, but we're kind of running out of things to talk about. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe we should have used the wishables at the end. <laughs> I spent 20 minutes talking about the wishables and Gideon's. Yeah, I know. I know. We've got 13 left. Yeah. So, so yeah, I mean, so we did talk I mean, I'll about. I'll show you the wishables again. I've been squeezing him the whole time. They're squishy. I love them a lot. Oh. So what Kiana and Katie think of them? Um, Kiana said, I'm happy for you. <laughs> um, but then she also asked if she could see all of them. And yes. Katie, um, so Katie's favorite one of Katie's favorite rides is Small World. Um, but Katie had to work until 3 a.m. last night. Ah, mother... Sorry. I about said that words. <laughs> my, the cat just bit me for no reason. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So where oh. is that cemetery? Okay, Chris, when, you, when you're when walking out of the exit of the Haunted Mansion, that was so if you rude. look up on the hill to your left... There's the pet cemetery, and Mr. Toad is at the very top. It's kind of hard to see. You, I don't think you can see the date anymore, but it's up there. But yeah, so e we, Heaven and I have gone and look at for different stuff. All Heaven and I went and looked for the hidden Tinker Bell one day. We did. We did do that. Yes. yes. Um, Mar, they are. Um, it's it's a plush toy that's what they're called but they it's i don't know how they do it because it is so much softer than a normal plushy like it's amazing like <laughs> i just don't understand how they make them so soft <laughs> they are fantastic um so katie loves small world and um i knew that but she worked until 3 a.m and so I tried to call her when we got there this morning. After I got my first set, I was like, oh, should I grab more before I go and buy these? What should I do? Um, because, like, obviously, so you're allowed to buy 10 of the of the packs. You're allowed to buy 10 of the packs. They limit you to 10 per, per uh, like, collection. So, like, Small World collection. Um, well, there are only five. So I had five in my cart or in my basket and I um I was like well if Katie wants all of them I'll grab five more so I tried to call her and I was like oh man but she worked until 3 a.m like I can't I don't want to wake her so then I text her and was like hey do you want any of these and I sent her a picture and then I was like oh I'm just gonna get her the clock that that'll be that'll be fine and then after we all got everything we needed, someone said, well I, I still need to buy some more hippos so they went in and bought hippos and I said hey if you get an extra green one I'm going to buy it from you for my roommate. And I brought them home to her and she said, do I owe you money? And I said, no, I'm not going to make you pay me for something that I decided to get for you. And she said, but I, I do want them. So I'm going to pay you for them and I'm probably going to go get the rest of them. <laughs> so that's what she thought about them. That's, no, that's how they felt. No, Chris, we did not clap for Tank. Uh, uh, ba what's funny is the hidden Tinkerbell is actually in a place you would not think to find it at. But we weren't able to see it because the foliage around there had grown up over it. It's actually at the end of Big Thunder Mountain Railroad at the exit. And it's down on, was it like one of the stones? Yeah. Oh, of course, it's not. Um, it also stone. depends on what exit you're coming from, though. <laughs> that is true. Because you exit from two different sides. Yes. So, 
So I believe it, you have to, not the far exit, but the closer exit. What was funny is we were looking for it and we couldn't find it. And a cast member seen us and he's like, are you looking for the hidden Tinkerbell? <laughs> we said, yeah. He goes, unfortunately, it's over here, but you can't see it because he called them weeds. I'm like, I don't think they're weeds. I think Disney planted those there. <laughs> yeah, they still look like it. Even if horticulture came in and did that to us, they look like weeds. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so yeah, that that that's over there. So, and then of course, uh, if you ever want to see. The hidden Mickey tree. <laughs> yes, I have a picture of it. And even today, I showed it to my coworkers, and all of my coworkers said that that was definitely done on purpose. I know. So I'm sorry that you. I am so sorry that you do not have faith in Disney horticulture and making magic for every place on property. But they 100 percent did this on on purpose. Let me pull this picture up and show all of you. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> You should have more faith in, in Walt Disney World I, horticulture. I don't believe it was on purpose. I think it's a, a coincidence. I think. I think that your faith in Walt Disney World horticulture has <laughs> failed. So anyhow, the Hidden Mickey tree is over by, uh, it's at Animal Kingdom. You have to be in line for the Navi River journey. And you have to be in a certain spot to see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, it is 100% done on purpose. Um, uh oh. I don't know. I don't know if you'd be able to see it. <sighs> kind of. So I don't, yeah. Let me see if I can email it to myself and pull it up. Yeah, yes, Mar, you, you're correct. But I don't, I think what it is, I think he was talking that it was actually slowing people down as they were exiting too, is one of the problems. It might be the reason why they, they uh, let it grow over it as well. So I don't remember, did we, did we do anything else that we went and like was hunting for in those areas? Mm. Usually, if we hear about something, we always go try to find it ourselves. Think so, okay. Um, the other thing is this: is if you've seen any of my shorts that's been coming from Walt Disney World, Heaven is the one who's filming those. I'm sorry, it's terrible quality. <laughs> I no, I I think you've done really good. So, um, I might have some more for you, maybe. So maybe. now, now I filmed. The ice road driving in Indiana. I, that was all me. Oh, that was not me. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, no. Mar, this was way before that. Yeah, this was before that. Oh. Do you know how to share it? Yeah, I'm working on it. Are you laughing at me? Yeah. Why are you laughing at me? I don't know. Are you trying to share your screen? Is that what you're doing? Yes. So you hit, there you did go. Did I do it? Yes, you did. All right. But you, yeah, there you go. I'm trying to find the oh. Zoom button. That. That <laughs> is an on-purpose <laughs> Disney tree. Hidden Mickey tree made by <laughs> Disney Horticulture because they are fantastic. It was on purpose. <laughs> My mom thinks it was on purpose. I think it was on purpose. My coworkers think it was on purpose. It was a coincidence. <laughs> I do not. Do you think a tree grows in that shape randomly? I I don't think it's one tree. I think it's three trees. I don't see uh, any other trunks or <laughs> limbs. <laughs> the Disney tree. <laughs> The yes. hidden Mickey tree. Yes. <laughs> Navi River Journey Q, friends. Right outside. You'll see it. If you're looking, you got to look for it. 
Well, yeah, you have to look for all hidden <clears throat> Mickey's. Right, not all. Yeah, you, you just don't. You don't just see them. If you just saw them, people wouldn't come up and ask me, "Hey, where is this hidden Mickey?" All the time. And have you ever? You lost. Did, <laughs> <laughs> did you know where the I, I hidden Donald was? I have two daughters and a wife, Chris. I always lose. <laughs> did you know where the hidden Donald was in Haunted Mansion before I told you? The hidden Donald. Yeah. I told you. I you still you don't. I pointed it out to me, and you still don't know where it is. See, it's I remember. You, I remember you pointing it out, but I don't remember. Mm -hmm. I can't remember where it is. It's on the chair. Now I know where Mister Toad's rot, Mister Toad's car is, and uh, Peter Pan's flight. Peter Pan's flight. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The, I don't think it's not his car, isn't it? Just it was. Not, it's his car. It's his car. Okay. Yeah. I mean, they're not going to tell you that, but it's his car. But yeah, so I mean, there's lots of stuff. I there was, I think there's actually something in Poo, isn't there? That's besides that, that's also. Ah, uh, I don't know about that one. I thought it was like behind a door. You had to actually look for it. I was never told anything about that when I was trained there, but okay, that doesn't mean it's not. I right, don't know. right, right, right. I also. Uh, well, I thought it was something like where Mr. Toad was shaking the hand with one of the Hundred Acre Wood characters, as in, I think it might have been Al, like giving over the property to. I will have to ride the ride again and see. I don't know. But I don't I think, work over there I very think often. It's something anymore. you actually have to look behind you hmm. because it's like the doors open, you know, like when it goes in and it's like over by the door where it opens up. I might be wrong, but I thought there was something I mean, there. Birdwell it's says Al. It, it's Al. That's what I thought. I'll, yeah, I'll take a look. I uh, get to do more than ride it sometimes. So. Right, right, Mar. <laughs> it's like Mr. Toad turning over the deed for the. I'll have to look. Yeah. And then, look. granted, most of the time, if I'm doing more than riding it, I'm focused on more safety critical things than I am. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> than I am actually things like that. <laughs> well, it's, I mean, you know, it's like that. It, it, and some people might not know this. Uh, Heaven's always pointed out to me when we go on Expedition Everest, when you're on the uh, lift hill, while you're oh, on yeah. that hill, it's kind of hard because you really got to bend your neck. But it's you like can a whole, like, you can see the other three parks from that lift hill. Magic so you can actually see the hardest one because it's the castle is smaller. You almost got to spot the contemporary first and then dirt, like focus your eyes, but it is a full, like, so actually you can see kinda. all four parks because I meant the one park you're right there in it, but yeah. the other parks are over there. So, but yeah. So, uh, one of the things that we could talk about just real quick, because we only got a couple of minutes. Um, uh, Heaven, Haley, and I wanted to go over and see the constructions of Rat Tattooey. So we took the Skyliner because we stay in a pop century. So we we got on, we got to talking and everything, and we got to the end, and we forgot to look. <laughs> yeah. So we, went, we got off, got back on, and made sure to look as we was going back. <laughs> but we got to talking so much, and happened and everything we forgot to look when we first come in yeah that was funny so, uh but, yes disney baker i do work at uh walt disney world yes yes so but uh so that's gonna be it uh thank you all for coming in uh this week was liberty square next week will be fantasy land yes which i'm sure we will have plenty to talk about because i think that's I probably so. the biggest land there isn't it it's for sure the most central and very most popular. Now, <laughs> when we do that, does that include the circus area as well? Yes. Okay. All right. So, uh, so yeah, we'll be talking about everything about Fantasyland. And uh, we'll be talking about one of Haley's favorite places to eat. But we can never find a table over by that area. Oh, that is also one of my favorite places to eat. Yeah. But... So Fantasyland next week on Sweets and Treats. Uh, 
Hey, hang in there. And in less than a half hour, I'll be doing Jedi Council. I'm going to be there by myself. Gonzo's got some family business to take care of. Uh, but I'm doing a watch party, and we're going to be watching the Clone Wars movie. So if you want to join us over there, I can only I can only uh, accept six people into the watch party on Disney+. Plus. But I can tell you when we're going to start it. And if you have Disney+, Plus, you can start it at the same time and watch it with us. So... But uh, I also want to let you know there is no hanging with the family tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the reason is, is because oh. we went to Disney World and I have the free uh, version of StreamYard. I can only do 20 hours a month. So I don't have enough time. Oh, I thought you said it restarted. No, it doesn't start till the 5th. Oh, well, that's a bummer. <laughs> so... Uh, hanging with the family will be next next Thursday, where I think we're going to talk about the Jungle Cruise changes and different stuff like that. So, All right. Uh, yes, Mar, I'm going to watch the whole movie. It's only an hour and 39 minutes. Only. Only an hour and 40 minutes. So, uh, but if you guys were willing to join me, come hang out. Stay as long as you want. If you get tired, you can always back out. So, but we'll see you later. Thank you all for coming. And thank you, Heaven, for being on here. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next week for Fantasyland. Bye. <laughs>